Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Orcast. Welcome to our series on how to make games with Pico 8. Uh, we are going to make Breakout on Arkanoid. This is part number three, I think. And last time around we learned how to make um, variables and functions, very basic stuff. Um, today we are going to continue with this kind of stuff. We're going to learn the if statement, which is a very important statement. And we're going to see how we can use it to make things happen even cooler. Um, I'm going to uh, load, uh, I think I c called it a still um, uh, Rickroll. And then this is the program, just to, to remind ourselves wh where were we last time around. We have this blinky heart that just goes off to the screen and just disappears and never returns. That sucks. We like this heart. We want this heart to go go on. This is a very musical thing that we're just starting here. So we want to make this heart go on, right? Um, right. So first of all, you know what? I, I like this. But let's go with poo just with poo for now. Let's let's leave P for now. Let's let's just deal with poo for now. Like if we go like this, right? It, it just moves to the side. And all you want to do is we want this to return now. We just want to go back when it reaches the end of the screen. Like like where do you go? Come back. We want we want you to come back. Uh so this means that basically right now, the way this is right now, um Let's just reiterate, you know, every frame we add one to Poo, Poo starts at one. Poo gets bigger, 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 and until it reaches 127 or 28. 128, which is the width of the screen. And once it reaches the width of the screen, it, the heart gets drawn off screen. You know, it just goes like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then this is 127. 128 is off the screen it continues going off the screen like it's get the poo gets even bigger we get even more poo but you know it's way off the screen we don't see it anymore so what we want to do um antiqui wants to make the heart go bigger that's maybe something that we're going to go do later but it's definitely possible um so what we want to do first is to make sure that the heart returns so we have to somehow check when poo gets too big, <laughs> when is it? When is the point where we have too much poo, and then we have to deal with it somehow? There is a very simple, very reasonable function for this. It calls if then. So if <laughs> then, <laughs> and it looks a little bit like function, you know. You, you can you know how you start with function and then you have an end which marks the end of the function and everything you put in between function and end is the function same thing with if then if something something then and then whatever becomes between if and end or I, I guess then and end is the thing that happens when this condition gets uh, is true so if poo is bigger then 127. So if the heart is really off screen now, now we have to change something, right? And you would think, you know, well, then poo equals poo minus one, but it, that doesn't work, dog. I'm going to show you. It doesn't work. You would think it works, but it doesn't. It, it it really doesn't. Oh, I, this is P00. There is a subtle difference between poo and poo P00. <laughs> it works even more horrible than I thought. Bam. What? It's not there. And there's a question in the chat. Uh, Luis Piloto asks, is this a PAC powered thing? I'm not exactly sure what PAC is. Uh, but yes, it is Pico 8. Right, so heart disappeared, not doesn't come back. Why though? Well, because we add one pixel to our X position, and then if the poo is too big, then we subtract it again. But those two cancel each other out. So basically, it reaches twenty-seven, goes one step further, and then it just stays there forever. It goes back and forth and just stays there forever. It doesn't actually return. Um, so the way to do this. 
and that's how it is done all, all the time it's 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 a good idea you go poo speed you have, you'd add a second variable which is poo speed which indicates how much we want to add or subtract from poo at the beginning we're going to go with one right and then here down here when we add things to poo we're going to take whatever was in poo and add one to it now we can go poo speed right and the idea is that if we reach 127 poo speed was one now we change simply the poo speed poo speed equals minus one we don't subtract or add to poo speed we just set it hard to minus one so now next time around when it comes to adding things to poo we add minus one to poo which is we subtract one from poo heart returns great success oh oh no heart disappears again so you might imagine what happens now okay if poo we're gonna just copy and paste if poo is smaller than zero because you know zero is the the left edge of the screen we go poo speed is equals one and now bam bam you can see there's something weird happening here which i have to explain now uh, you can see on the left edge the heart actually leaves the screen while on the uh, on the right edge the see the heart leaves the screen completely and then re reappears while on the left edge it bounces before like it, it heart hits the screen that's because we're drawing the heart on the left top corner that's where the coordinate is so there is a bunch of the rest of the heart is always to the right and the bottom of the coordinate that we're drawing it at so if you want for example the heart to always disappear slightly off the screen you would have to go like minus five or minus seven or something let's try this Right, it leaves the screen as, as before. And now it also leaves the screen, that's cool. Uh, or if you want to always bounce off the screen, then you would have to dis subtract like a little bit from 127 to just to stop the heart a little bit sooner. That's fine. See? Um. Yeah, Lutz Piloto uh, suggests to actually uh, use variables here as well, just to save the width and height of the heart in a variable. That's so totally something we're gonna do later on. I'm just gonna, I'm, I wanna try to keep the number of variables low for now, um, simply not to confuse things, uh, not make things too confusing. We're gonna clean this up very soon. Don't you worry about that. Um, maybe a small, small break before we continue, before we make it also move vertically. Uh, anytime you want to have like you can, because it gets very confusing at some point you, you want to add some some commentary at some point for example just to remind yourself what you're actually looking at you can do it by uh, pressing double minus double minus uh this is where we check if the heart hits the ed edges and um, pico 8 will just ignore anything that is behind two minus signs uh, and i think this even works yeah this even works in the same line you have you have um you have uh, already something in so for example the, or up here when you have poo this is the x coordinate see so you can like do commentaries for you and it's actually good practice to do this um, it slows down a little bit because you have to stop and to write to spell these things out. Um, but especially if you're working in like a um, together with people and they have to understand what you actually did there, it's super useful to do this. What do I do here? Ah, good. Um, yeah, that commentary got lost at the, uh, at the top. All right, so. 
Yes, uh, minus minus is a comment, uh, Skazius. Cool. So now the heart moves horizontally and making it move uh, vertically as well and therefore diagonally as well is super easy, guys. It's it's not even it's you already know what 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 you're getting at here. We're gonna go with p speed. We're gonna add another variable called p speed and. Where is P? Where do we change? P? Oh, we have we don't change P, P right? So now we're gonna start changing P. P equals P plus P speed, and then those two checks here, those two if statements that we have, we're just gonna copy them, and we're gonna paste them here. And instead of poo, we're gonna go P. Instead of poo, we're gonna go P. Instead of poo speed, you're gonna p speed, and then you're gonna go p speed. It's the same code, just the variable is are different. Instead of poo, we have always p. And now the heart moves diagonally, and voila, it bounces off the screen walls. Perfect, exactly what we wanted, and this is our first step to uh, into our breakout to our to our Arkanoid type of game. We're gonna change this heart now into a ball and we're gonna clean up the code a little bit uh, and we're gonna see how this works. But that's something that comes on the next episode. I hope you join me next time around. See you guys. Bye bye.